Look at that art. Yeah. It's like <laughs> the detail. Yes. Every individual strand of fluff. Of fluff. Has been... It's like one of those uh, movie posters that that guy would paint. Oh, yeah, where, like, that guy who painted all of the movie posters. Yes. And then he lost his job because of Photoshop. Yep. It, like, tells the whole story in one image. My favorite is the one he did for The Thing because he didn't know what the movie was about and they wouldn't <laughs> tell him. They just said it takes place in, like, the Arctic. So he just... <laughs> and it had aliens in it, so he just, like... Did like he 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 painted it based off of absolutely no information. <laughs> so he just painted like a guy in like an Eskimo suit with like lights flashing out of the hood. <laughs> you know, just like the movie. Just like the movie. Still be toes, my boy. I fuck him. I mean, <laughs> something. Fuck. You fuck all of them. Yeah. Like, you would. Like Peppy with his. Old man balls. <laughs> he's not a man, he's a rabbit. Hair. No, he's actually a rabbit. His name is. Math's just misleading. And Slippy is a frog, even though his last name is Joe. It's very confusing, and no one knows what the fuck a Lombardi is. He's a Vietnamese pheasant, <laughs> but his last name is Lombardi. Just say pheasant. Mm. Fox is a fox, and Cat is a cat. But his first name is Fox. Yeah. Because that would be just weird if you were a fox fox. Yeah, yeah. Nick, yeah. he's a Scottish fox. <laughs> fox McFox. No, Let's Andros watch the same is Scottish thing. in... Let's watch the same thing again. Andros is Scottish <laughs> in Adventures. I've been looking forward to this day. Yeah, that When was... I see you again, Fox McCloud. And he had, like, an Aztec god on the back of his head. You don't? I don't really understand, you like, don't? how that played into his resurrection. It I gotta have this Aztec K.O. Krizoa. My father was hired by General Pepper. Uh, vaguely tribal. To investigate strange K.O. Krizoa. Planet Venom. He never returned. Mike West. My name is Mike West. I'm sorry, it's my nigga Jay Green. Yeah, Jay Green's your nigga. Yeah, and he used to do the intro. He did the intro in 64. The narration. We should, like, it'd be fun to, like, line this up next to the one from 64 and, like, try and, like, match up the discrepancies. Yeah, they're so, such different lengths, though, that'd be difficult. Turns out Pigma was Well, not like, like, James. No Not like the narration, but I mean, like, take the scrolling text. Mm. I always like this part, because it's like, hey, remember the intro to 64? Yeah, that's, that's boss. That's fucking boss. Because they know what's up. Yeah, I, I covered this already in my three-hour-long Star Fox Zero video. But I like that this is through Fox's perspective. As much as I love the original narration of Maniga J. Green, uh, who is in this game? It's colored uh, differently, yeah. beca like yeah. because in '64 it was like just an objective Jay narration. Green was a neutral party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Despite voicing some of the villain characters. Yeah, he didn't really voice any of the good guys, I don't think. But yeah, like it's the difference between like here's the events that transpire, yeah. and then Fox is saying it from the perspective of someone who's like involved yeah like as a personal state yeah this is so much better as much as i love the original narration this is so much better the original narration was more star wars -y. yeah mm, a little bit i can trust i just that gets into this whole different discussion <laughs> <laughs> about like the narration in star wars i meant just the opening title scroll the yeah 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 it, it was very like inspired yeah by the words I would floating through fuck him. go ahead a hotshot flyboy who's got your back with the good gets a, He's like Happy describing their Tinder profiles. <laughs> <laughs> I'd swipe all of them to the right. Together. Just saying. We've been talking about. We've been talking about that. <laughs> this is this is such a better opening. Not only because it's you know colored through Fox's perspective and goes so much deeper, but it, it introduces you, all the characters. It gives you some insight into like the setting. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing. One thing I can look at and go like I like both of them, but this one did it better. I mean, I mean, like, the uh, 64 version was a little bit constrained by technology, too. Yeah, and also the fact that it was uh, ostensibly the first game, you know, it was a remake and restart yeah. the series. So With this, like they, they had, like, of. 
they had like 20 years of yeah. like we can okay what's the actual story that's the the whole thesis of this game is just starting over knowing what we know now knowing what they knew <laughs> i mean i didn't make it <laughs> so uh i always thought like like, originally, when this came out, I was like, oh, it sucks that you have to do arcade mode, yes. and you get, like, two lives yeah. to go through, like, in 64, where it was planet to planet to planet. Mm -hmm. What I realized, playing it again, like, just on my off time, was you can just do that. Like, it's not, it is a level select, you can pick whichever level you want, but if you start from Corneria mm -hmm. level 1, it will take you to each of the next levels, and you can play it through chronologically, and when you beat the game, it tallies up all of the kills you had for that run. And it's interesting that you bring that up, because initially, and Miyamoto said this in interviews, initially they had made it so that it was just... Uh, like this. It was just like a level select, mm -hmm. and it was only on feedback through, like, original Star Fox fans that said, we want that, like, arcade mode where yeah. you play through all of it in one shot, that they added that in. That they they were just going to do it with this setup where it's more of a level select and you can pick and choose and redo levels and stuff. Yeah, and you can pick whichever one you want, but... yeah. Like, even, you play. even outside of arcade mode, yeah. if you just, like, we'll, we'll see as we go through, if you let it just take you from mm -hmm. level to level without moving it around, it is, like, consistent. Yeah, it doesn't stop and go, like, okay, now choose your next level. Oh, choose your car! I forgot, but one of the things I wanted to do was, like, do the, uh, the other ships. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to get the... Yeah, could you get the amiibos? I'll get my amiibos. I mean, and like in my copy, I unlocked them because I got all the gold medals. <laughs> that's another thing this game doesn't get credit for because like, amiibos are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like action figures. It's deal like, but the fact that they unlock things in yeah. games is bullshit. Yeah. Like it's DLC, but. You have to let, like, it's a limited quantities of DLC. Yeah. Imagine if when you went to a game store page, it's like, there's only four downloads remaining of this DLC. Yeah. <laughs> and if you miss out, you're never gonna get yeah, that to DLC. To, and even worse, like, you have to buy the physical thing. And, like, not lose, like, you can physically lose the DLC. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that was close enough, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even holding it there. <laughs> Yeah, but the Falco is... I forget what they call it. The Black Falcon. Arwing? Yeah, something like that. That's pretty badass. You do take more damage, but it kicks nuts. Yeah, and, but the nice thing is, if you get every single gold medal in the entire game, which is a pain in the ass, it is. you can <laughs> just unlock them for mm -hmm. use whenever you yeah. want. You yeah. don't need the amiibos. Yeah. yeah, that is nice. Star Fox, do you read me? <laughs> We're under yeah, there are people who have long plays of this game with... Gamepad audio. I don't know how they do that. Is there a headphone jack on there? Oh, have his way with me. There is. Yeah, there you go. They're probably just plug. Yeah. Yeah, they just plug it in and record and sync it. Oh, well, that's. Have his way with me. That's too much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is what we have. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that's so cute. I think it was. Platinum who wanted them to put that in there. Yeah. That initially Nintendo was like, we didn't know so many they would care so much about like the SNES game and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, like Platinum like, like Platinum hmm. brought we're gonna Okay, no, here's what we should do. We should spend this entire playthrough talking about Star Fox 2. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even talk about Star no, Fox Zero. Nothing's going on here <laughs> on TV. Yeah, Platinum brought so much like passion for the rest of the franchise yes. outside of just Star Fox 64 to this project. Mm -hmm. Plat I can't... I mean, there is no better studio than Platinum to choose to make this game. I mean... Just give Platinum any franchise yeah. and I'd be happy. Give them Sonic. I yeah. would love that a, would be a Sonic game by Platinum. That couldn't be bad. Hey, listen to the sound effect. Yeah, and the music. That's yep. gonna kick in. Yep. 
Yeah, bitch. So much extra work they yeah. didn't have to put in. One it plays thing. completely differently. Yeah. Because it doesn't lock off. Look at how fucking pretty this game is. It's so pretty. Look at how good this game is. If you... I think it's more powerful, too. Like, to compensate for the, uh, the lack of a lock-on. Yeah. Because it's basically a bee bomb. <laughs> but smaller. Small. Small bomb. No. I think it's funny that if you have the retro R-Wing, everyone else has, the, has, the, yeah, has it, too. Yeah. But when you have the black R-Wing... Just you. Yeah, no one else has it. Everyone yep. else is in a regular R wing. Yep. Don't fucking tell me what to do. I gotta rebuild all of that shit now. I actually have to pay attention while I'm playing this because it's a platinum game. <laughs> <laughs> it's an action game. Oh god. You know, that's the other thing that's like a little bit of a shame because. No shit. Yeah. Gee, I wonder. I'm so surprised. Nobody knew that was gonna happen. It's, it's actually pretty fun watching someone play this game with the Wiimote in their hands. Because look at how much I'm, like, doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, like, one of their big things. Where they're like, we wanted it to be just as fun to watch someone play it. And again, I mean, I know we've both harped on about this a lot, yeah. but, like... If you think the controls in this are bad, you're fucking retarded. Yeah. Well, no, you, you won. Jesus, you won, never played it, and you're just saying that. Yeah. Two, you yeah. played it for five seconds and you, you played sucked it, at it. You literally, you played it for five seconds, maybe finished the first level, but probably even not. But a lot of people said that and you haven't even played it. You're just saying that because you're either yeah. following suit or you're doing Damn something it. with the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Starting yeah, over. Damn it! Starting over. I love those enemies. Why am I not taking damage? There we go. Kill me so I can go back! <laughs> I wanted to do the other way! The difficult one. Damn it! Actually, that'd probably be a pain in the ass with this R wing. Mm hmm. You can turn into the plus. real Star Fox 2 Raptor. Yeah, what? Well, the I sour persimmons, oh. cousin. It's so weird because the TV's kind of quiet, so it's hard. We can't hear like yeah. the music. Yeah, we can only hear the gamepad. It's gonna sound better <laughs> in the video, but like, you better we make sure you line up the audio, like sync it really well. Otherwise, this is gonna be. It's it. fine. It's fine. Shut up. Fine. It is. And something that actually you don't even get to see in this game that I saw in Star Fox 2 is it's a, it's a little tadpole. Yeah. When it's underwater, the raptor can swim. Yeah. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? I'm in here. No problem. Do you got me? <laughs> Guys, I mean, like, we're all in together. We here. gotta discuss mic usage here. You can't key up the yeah, comm just like, to say anything. You can't just be like, hey, stop fucking kill stealing. <laughs> Alright, I got one. Look, you can see Slippy shooting at him mm -hmm. as they're fleeing. Yep. And when he shoots one down, he actually does. Did I hit it? Oh, I thought I did. Die. Die. Kill it. I'm just gonna stand here with this eye beam. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go get a pro controller and try and do two player? Not particularly. No. <laughs> <laughs> like it just occurred to me. Like, oh wait, this game has two player. Why aren't we doing that? Yeah, that'll be a third a third video. <laughs> yeah, we'll do we'll do a a. How many videos on my channel are there? Which we're gonna Star fucking do Star Fox. as many as there needs to be, is what the fuck we're gonna do. Or the one I did when it first came out. <laughs> yep. We just did Star Fox 2, we're doing this one, and yep. then we'll do uh, another you one. You mentioned Zero in your Game of the Year video. Yeah, I did. Because it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
And yeah, like, I, oh yeah, that's like the big thing is contrast this with... Uh, it just does that. Contrast this with the video you made right after it came out. Yeah, we're... Fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> we're like... It had just come out. Like, I got into it, like, pretty swiftly. Yeah. But, like, now I've, you know, I play this game, like, once a month. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten to play it in a little bit of a while because of the move. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is probably the long, like, it had probably been the longest break in between mm -hmm. the last time I played it and when I played it on your birthday. On my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I I did get some time in, at least. Yeah. But, like, when I did the video, I had played it, like, maybe three times. Mm -hmm. Maximum. To get all the stuff. To get all the levels and shit. Yep. Because uh, I didn't want to be a fucking hack who did a playthrough of just the first time you go through the story mode. Mm -hmm. Because, guess what? Oh, shit. Oh, my I got shot. Because guess what? If you just do your first time through the story mode, uh, there's like ten levels you didn't fucking do, yeah. and you don't know they exist, and you're like doing a final breakdown criticism yeah. of the game, saying how oh they just need to change the control, oh change the control, and then you didn't fucking play half of it. Whoever fun. could do such a thing? Everyone? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, it's been a little while. Fucking move. Get out of my face. Okay, where? Get about my bitch! Why would you design, like... Like the hall- like the hallway <laughs> like this? <laughs> oh shit. There we go. Why would you build this? <laughs> Who is this for? <laughs> it's just a hallway, there's like... There's not even any other way in here. I question. Know. I question the design. Don't know. I question the design uh, philosophy behind Venom's shoot the ring architecture. Pops. Shoot the lime ring pop. It's fucking. Yeah. Star Fox Two. Yes. It's that guy. It's that corner of boss guy. <laughs> Mm. Ah. The puppy. Wah. Wah. <laughs> what is it? What is it in Chinese? <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> <laughs> I still love that because obviously they have to translate it. Mm -hmm. What is he actually yeah. saying? Wait, there's Chinese there. <laughs> I like how Falco is way less of an asshole in this game. Yeah, they're all. All their personalities are sort of altered from 64. Yeah. Like, like. Slippy's a little bit more of more of a more capable. Well, like I was gonna say, like he's a little bit more like he has more of a tood yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. He's a little bit more confident, maybe. Yeah. You could Falco's say. Falco's way less of a douche. If way you go back to '64, like he legitimately was a prick a lot. Of the time. <laughs> like Falco was hated everyone. Yeah, and was angry all the time. He's a, just a misanthrope. Whereas in this one, he's like he's nice, but he he has a little bit of. Like a sense of humor or something, I guess? Yeah, he, he's just way less up his own ass. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I beat Corneria, and then boom, it takes me straight to yeah. Sector A. It's like, oh, Sector I'm A. gonna... <laughs> shut. Sector like Alpha. I'm gonna press A, and then just keep going. I'm not, though, because I wanted to do Aqua Rosa. And also... Balloon. Cool. It fucking says Aqua Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking question me! <laughs> Gaslight! Let's do the I black R wing. Yeah, you know, the, the characters are, are different from <sighs> what they were in 64. Probably influenced by the fact, you know, like you said, Fox is a character action. Yeah! Like, like uh, Fox also is way different. Yeah. Because in, in 64, he was like. Partially, like, more of a straight and, straight and narrow kind yeah, of character. Yeah, he was young. 
and he was like 18 yeah he, but in this you really get that sense of pet personality where he's like a motivated by revenge mm -hmm. yeah, and b yeah. like having a grand old time kind of yeah. like he's really enjoying yeah. fucking up andros's army i mean they're mercenaries they they have to find what they do fun like it's it's very much an intentional life choice yeah exactly because i mean they've Star Fox has existed for those five years before the beginning of the game. Yeah. Like, they said that the war has been going on for... Ha, ha, that for five years after James went missing. Who knows how long it was going on before that. Yeah. You could see how, how bigger of a chunk of life that took when you Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. And also, I'm just fucking obliterating people. Like, you get the double... <laughs> Yeah, badass. You get the double uh, target thing right off the bat. Yeah. It sh shoots way faster. It kills dudes purple way faster. Energy. Look bad. at how fast that Look took at that. Down. Look at that. He didn't even cut the second building. Yeah, fucking own. I'm sorry, you were saying? Because, like, like... Well, I mean, the timeline's a little out of skew now. Yeah, it's... You're weird. not really sure, like... Wait, how long was Fox in, like, school, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, I mean, he's 18. That's something they changed that made it really confusing. Well, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, how old is, how old is Sonic? <laughs> like, are you seriously going to keep trying to convince me he's fucking 16? <laughs> I was like, he was 15. Like, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> like, Japan, you don't know how age works. <laughs> no, that's been time. demonstrated. You're fucking retarded. That's been demonstrated. Uh, but that aside, like, Star Fox, as it exists under Fox and Cloud, has clearly existed for, like, an extended period. Yeah. What were they doing? Yeah. All that time? Like, were they still being, like, freelanced by the Cornarian military to help out? And what were they doing other than, like, why does this start now? What were they doing yeah, other yeah. than this? Like, it's sort of implied that, like, this is the last stress stand yeah yeah it's sort of like corneria is getting taken over yeah exactly that's what there was there was a fan fiction that i really liked that was written like back in 99 or something like that yeah you told me about that yeah where the the story is like if you think about Star Trek 64 and zero like they're invading corneria they're just about to win yeah, like they have like, lost like Star Fox the, is their last stand. The fact that they got to this point, it's not like you can just fly to from all the way from Venom yeah. to Corneria on the other side of the fucking solar system yeah. and just waltz in. And they, they had taken over every planet, every Corneria, and we're at Corneria City where the seat of government is. So they, they like, Corneria had lost. Yeah, like, like, when you think about it, there would have had to have been some kind of, like, satellite defense system or something around Corneria. Yeah. Like, all things being allowed. Like, I think <laughs> of, like, like in Halo 2, it had, like, the three huge space guns around Earth mm. to stop the invasion. Because they knew the fuckers wanted to get to Earth and just kill everyone. Yeah. So, guess what? Like, the origin of their fucking military force is pretty well fucking equipped to defend themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact that there that there is an invading force on Corneria means like everything in between Venom and Corneria is just gone. Yeah. Like that's not even a little bit of resistance on them. Everyone's either dead or a prisoner. And and, and like like where is Star Fox before yeah. this level. Yeah. Like, they must... Exactly. Like, like you could easily think of something like they were on a mission elsewhere in the solar system or something. Yeah. Or, like, doing something else, and while they were gone, Andros' yeah. army, the or, Ven Venusian... <laughs> the Venusian <laughs> army had, like, taken advantage of the situation. It's like they were trying to crack into Venom while, like, Venom was taking over the rest of the system, and by the time they got to Corneria, they were like, oh, fuck, we have to go deal with that. And just start from the beginning, as opposed to attacking them at home, you know? Oh, shit. Yeah. But yeah, this, this boss is really fucking hard with yeah, the Wing, because of 
It's like just it's, hard in general. It's so hard to not take damage. Yeah. That's what I liked about that story where it, it was really like, we're losing this war as it is. Like, they had lost. If it weren't for Star Fox, they would have completely lost. They had already. Come Not on, only did they hit Corneria, but they were they were at Corneria City and had destroyed it. Yeah, and Corneria City is, like, sort of implied to be, like, the capital. Yeah, that's where, in this game, they even added, like, that's where General Pepper was hiding in that tower. And, like, that's where they were trying to get to, and that's where you have to get to. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not doing great. <laughs> yes. Two more. Two more to go. Fuck off. Yeah, I always love that as, like, a setup, because Metroid Prime 2 did that as well, where, like, the bad guy aliens in Metroid Prime 2 were literally one room away from destroying <laughs> the entire planet and winning before Samus Aran showed up. <laughs> Obliterated. <Fucking> vicious. <laughs> Ruthless. Look at this fucking savage. Damn. Savage level 100. That is a Bayonetta fucking line. <laughs> Lock off, feather face. <laughs> yup. Boom. Yeah. Like the R wing's damaged. Boom. G. Oh, well. Fucking black R wing makes some things way easier and some things way harder. Yep. <laughs> that was just ruthless. Also, like, he went through the portal and now suddenly it's sunset and he's in a completely different location. <laughs> what is happening? I love how he just goes through it and then goes, Where am I, Rob? <laughs> like, what the fuck? What happened here? <laughs> okay, which one leads to what? This one leads to the asteroid field, right? Yeah. Where does this one go? Uh, in that sector of beta? Ah, or, or does that go to Fortuna? <laughs> um, I think it's I think it's sector beta. I don't remember. Ah, shit. I did Salvador in the video I did originally, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do this route. M the uh, asteroid belt, the Meteo, much harder than in 64. Yeah. Uh, especially with, like, what they add to it. Yeah. Yeah, like, Falco's way more chill. Peppy is a different kind of yeah, character, too. he's like, different. He's... You buy him way more as, like, a mentor character yeah. in this game. Because yeah. in 64, he would just kind of, like, tell you to tell you game mechanics. He would give you Nintendo power, too. Yeah, yeah. You do a barrel roll. <laughs> you Thanks, boost Peppy. right through. I think that's, like, day Your one. Your dad is dead! <laughs> he rot no limit. You suck balls. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> but in this, he he's like do an aileron roll. It, you do get the sense that like he's way more experienced mm -hmm. than every other member of Star Fox put together, and he knows what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, exactly. Whoop. And like he's the one who gets shot down yeah. by fucking uh. And number one, it's Star Wolf. Yeah. Who shoots him down? That that's that's cool. And Wolf implies that he had a history with James. Yeah. So it's like, there, there's a lot of implications. Yeah. <laughs> that, that I don't think, uh, well, at least if there's, well, I don't know, who's to say, but I don't see an explanation of Wolf's past with Fox or anyone else coming to light by Nintendo at any point. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's the Zelda timeline. Yeah, like, that's not what's important. I mean, uh, you get the sense that Platinum sneak, like, probably tried to sneak things yeah. in because they're fans, but and that, they that, were like, oh, think, like, if you think about such and such, it makes a lot of sense. It would be like the Zelda timeline, timeline in that it doesn't matter, and they are only giving it to you because you brought it up, and they're yeah. like, oh, you want this. Like, they didn't think of that and then make a game. Yeah, they just they saw that you were talking about it. Going, okay, let's try and keep in mind where this game fits yeah. on the time. Because that was the narrative for a while. It was like there it, we got it in a desk somewhere. Yeah. At Nintendo HQ. Yeah. Like as if. Yeah. Like I don't all, if we all have companies. it written down somewhere. We have the timeline worked out where it's not gonna tell you what it is. Of all companies, Nintendo doesn't give a shit. Yeah, they're not gonna fucking like okay. We're making the new fucking DS game. Yeah. <laughs> Where does it fit in? I mean, like you said, they don't explain why Bowser is go-karting with Mario for Yeah, they don't care. Sake. They just make the good game. Yeah. 
And I know I'm. How'd you get here? I'm. <laughs> and how are you like that close to the ground? And what's happening here with There's that? There's a lot of. Like that thing has a good turning radius. We're gonna fit through. How the did small you get hole. in here? Yeah, what happened there? <laughs> I, I'm gonna make. I'm still gonna make a whole video about the score, but the uh, Meteos uh, song oh, right. is one of the very few just straight up like the same song it had in '64, but made a hundred times better. Yeah, and I'll get to that in more detail, but I did want to say that. One of the few stages that has the exact same, or like few things in uh, Zero that has the exact same song as it did in '64, but only just they with did way it, more but... instruments. Mm. <laughs> they did it way better, and I love the original. But... Interesting that this level didn't have a briefing. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> didn't have a briefing from General Pepper at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, and and like this this was such a, a good change because uh, at the beginning of the asteroid field level in sixty four, there's like an implication of the great fox trying to navigate through the asteroid yeah, field where it's they shooting. They don't really at, take advantage. Where it's shooting. Oh god, I'm doing so poorly. Oh god. Where like the great fox was shooting at the asteroids in front of it, and like. Like, one just crashed into its wing and yeah. shit. Yeah. It's but, implied, but they didn't really take advantage of it. Yeah, that wasn't that. incorporated as part of the level. Yeah. Whereas in this, you can see them, like, taking that that little detail yeah. from the 64 game and, like, expanding on it, making a whole level out of it. Yeah, and saying, like, oh, that's the thing about this level. Like, you're trying to... It's because... an escort mission. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh... What the hell were they going to say? Oh yeah, Star Trek 64 really was less like a movie and more like a series of TV show episodes. Yeah, Each planet it was, was like its own episode. It was inspired by Thunderbird, right? Yeah. yeah. Firebird. What's it called? Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds? Yeah. Um, and it's, it's episodic because you can go back and forth between the roots. Yeah. So the story has to make sense... No matter yeah. which levels you hit in between Corneria and, it, and Venom. It's writing structure and it's sort of design was similar to like, well, what happens on this planet? What's the what's the story element? What's the gameplay element? It was just like a TV show. And because they were so separated, there was no spillover. Like, every level was self-contained. And, you know, they changed dynamically based on what you did or how you did in the previous level, blah, blah, blah. But they were all, like, just episodes. Uh, you know, it wasn't even like... It, I can't think of the right word for it, but it was very episodic. It was very much like a TV show. As like sequential, do you mean? No, it's like the levels were separated, and I was going to say kind of like a you know Super Mario Brothers, but not even, because those flowed <laughs> into each other a little bit more. These, yeah. in 64, they were just sort of separated in a way that I can't describe. It helps because like it's space. Yeah. <laughs> like, like they're going through a solar system and just hopping from planet to planet. Yeah, that so was the whole it's thing. not like it needed to follow like a logical consistency of like, why are they going from the ice planet to the asteroid yeah. level yeah. afterwards? Like, I mean, you can make up whatever you want about a sci-fi universe yeah. where, like, wh like, what's the planetary bodies? The sun's just right there in the middle, yeah. and they're making a bioweapon on it somehow. Yeah. But it's like, uh, Miyamoto, and, and when they first uh, revealed that they were working on Star Fox Zero at E3 2014, he said, like, oh, it's going to be, instead of, you know, previous Star Fox games, it's going to be more episodic and less like a movie, and eventually that fell by the wayside after they playtested it with, like, a lot of Star Fox fans and claims, and they said, no, they liked it better than the old way. But I, but I remember being kind of confused by that, like, what are you talking about? Star Fox 64 was exactly like a TV yeah. show. I mean, you sat through it and played it all in one go like a movie, but, I mean, each planet was like its own episode, you know? Oh, yeah, I can see what he means by that, where he's like, because if the original intention was to just have it be the level select, and you can go back and forth between whichever ones you want. Yeah. I can kind of see what he's getting at there. Yeah. Or it's like, you could have reruns, in a way. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a, this is something I've been thinking about, and I, for some reason, I cannot think of words to describe it, so like maybe I shouldn't have brought it up, <laughs> but it's because it's kind of frustrating to be like, I can't describe this to you in a way to make you understand it, but maybe you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but it's it's interesting because of the, because of the way, oh. like... Because of the way, like, Star Fox, you can go from, like, blue to ye yellow to red root, and back and forth, you can't follow, like, yeah. the events exactly. from the previous level to the next. Yeah. They because have to be you have no idea which level you're getting to it from. Yeah. They yeah. all have to be self-contained. But they still have a sense of, like progression like Continuity. with the narrative because mm -hmm. at the beginning on Corneria, Star Fox is a complete fucking train wreck. Yeah. Like Slippy immediately yeah. is getting Breaks fucked formation. up. Peppy's like trying to like teach you yeah. what to do. Falco's, Falco's running off, off ahead and needs yeah. to be saved and doesn't appreciate when you save him. Yeah, and then he's like, oh no, I'll, I'll, like, this is the way we should go, follow me. Yeah, yeah, like, and he arbitrarily decides whether he's gonna take you to the actual yeah. boss, but, because you impress he's him. He's like looking in your rear view, his rear view mirror, like, if he flies through all those arches, I'm gonna show him the real way. But, ah, uh, he fucked it up. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to the Venom run, and they're fucking flying yeah, in formation yeah. and flipping around with each other and doing coordinated strikes. Mm -hmm. If you have all three members of Star Fox with you by the Venom run, you can take out those huge fucking battleships with a fucking yeah. green laser. Yeah, yeah. It's very true. And even if you don't get to the Venom run, even if you're doing the satellite, there's still that sense of progression because yeah. fucking Slippy is being like, your carcass is mine! Yeah. <laughs> and being super vicious about it. Yeah. And there's and even, a, at the, it, even on Easy Venom, when those big like bar things are coming yeah, toward they you, all they shoot, shoot at the in, same time. in sequence. And if one of them is missing, it, it doesn't get destroyed and it hits you. There is a very tangible sense of like team cohesion yeah from the beginning compared to the end of the game yeah and it still manages to capture that even with a non-chronological yeah. i guess like level progression it is really hard to think of like yeah a word <laughs> yeah like i know Very what i'm Star trying to say in. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i know what i'm trying to say but i can't say it Best level. Yeah, this is by far my favorite level in Star Fox Zero. <laughs> this is everything Star Fox 64 wanted to be in a lot of ways, but couldn't Aww, because Falco of... Falco is jealous. Jealous. <laughs> Stop flirting with your ex! <laughs> You're fucking me now! Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, you can really see, like, all of the best elements yeah. of, th like, they tried to bring them all together. Yeah. It's very much a, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's very much a, like, re, like, a, a, okay. a reframing of the best level yeah. from Star Fox 64, mm -hmm. but, like, with the problems fixed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, every step of this game is... This is what they wish they could have done with it in, in 96 and 97. Oh. oh, wow! Jazz Adams. That's my nigga Jazz Adams. <laughs> Not everyone can be a nigga. It, I take that as a challenge, first of all. <laughs> nigga Jazz Adams. He does, he does a pretty good peppy. Like, not only is it, like, taking the, uh... I forget what it's called. Uh, the Independence Day level. Katina. Yeah. It's taking Katina and, like, reframing it as a space battle. Yeah. Which is, like, a little bit less frustrating because you can't, like, crash into the fucking <laughs> ground. Like, from a gameplay perspective, there's no boundaries to the level. Yeah. But it's also, like, having Bill and 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 Cat in yeah. the same level, yeah. even though they don't really interact or do anything. I it's, mean, that would be boss, was, but it... It that was still, still something everyone always said was like, oh, I want to get to Bill and Cat yeah. in the same run, and it wasn't really possible to do. Yeah. So in this, you could see, like, yeah, we're going to have Bill and Cat in the same fucking level. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
And it's just a badass fucking space battle with a fucking yeah. big Ava moment at the end. <laughs> this is awesome. And it has a and it has a fucking dog fight with 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 Star Wars. Yeah, and that's to that's top it all off. The best part of this game in the dog fighting. So no, like every every single thing in this level is like let's have everything great about this fucking game in one level. Mm -hmm. It's 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 really the only it's not the only big one, but like, like what was the other sector level in this game? Alpha. Game. Yeah, so, so, sector alpha was a big space battle level where like you got to see the Cornarian fleet and they're getting in this big yeah, yeah, like yeah. space battle. Oh yeah, I'm, maybe I like that one more than this. It's hard yeah, to that, say. To me, it's like it's such a toss up. Yeah, <laughs> but like it's that's it's. Both of them have the space battle, but this one also has Bill and Cat and Star Wolf in it. Jay Green. And this awesome, like I love this whole set piece yeah. where, like, where like you gotta defend the fleet. Yeah. And if you sit down and wait, and I have done this, <laughs> he will destroy all of these ships. Right. Yeah. And if all four of them go down, you'll lose. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Jesus, Louise. And, uh, like, earlier when you are when you first got here and you were fighting all the regular smaller battleships, mm -hmm. they're also destroying the Cornarian ships. Yeah. So it's like, depending on how fast you mop those up and defended the fleet from them, you have less time to deal with this big shit. Yeah. Because it won't have to destroy the ships that had already been destroyed by the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. God damn it. I hate that. Yeah, this is, both the Alpha and Beta are so fucking cool. And it is a toss-up, but which is my favorite. Because the first time I played Sector Alpha, I was like, this is fucking awesome. Oh my god. Yeah. This is like, this is the best Star Fox shit ever. Yeah. Like, this is what 64 wanted to be so bad. Not that 64 wasn't good, but... It was take it, that also was like taking a level from S Sector Alpha was much more of like taking that level, like the the Monkey Gundam level. Sector Y. Yeah, from Star Fox sixty four and doing like here's what it exactly. fucking is, motherfuckers. Exactly. This is like the 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 next gen Star Fox. Yeah, and that was, and so early on too, it was like God damn, this is awesome. Like they and knew then, what they were doing. Yeah, and this being the like Katina level, but. Super sized. Yeah, like it, it really is. Like, which was the last one I played? Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite. Yeah, this enemy is this enemy and maybe say enemy. This game is so fucking good. Oh my god, I had a fucking heart attack the first time I played. Like, oh my god! And then I love this moment. Look at this fucking Ava shot. <laughs> Look at this Neon Genesis Evangelion <laughs> shot where the laser just goes so right just through, through the through thing. Yep. Just like. 2D perspective and it's just a straight line. Yep. <laughs> it just slices it in half and then it's boosh. so fucking awesome. Yep. Give me that. You owe me. <laughs> What's your rank? What's Bill's rank in the movie? <laughs> yeah, I was I was wondering that. I like how she still shows up even if you don't do yeah. Aquas. Yeah, no, this one. Zonus. Wires got crossed there. <laughs> yeah, that's the that was the one thing where I'm like, I, I understand why they don't have it, but but Aquas would look so damn cool in this oh, game. But I know why they couldn't yeah. have you know too many vehicles as it is. But that oh that would look so fucking good. You know what? That'd be a real pain in the ass to try and get <laughs> Aquas working in, in this like an entire level is just a water level. Yeah. Yeah, that'll look good. Yeah, even at, even <laughs> 64. They're like they were originally a lot more water levels, but they're like it slowed down the pace too much. So they just guess what? Water. Water's still really hard to do. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. This is where I stop looking. Fly? This is where I stop looking at the screen, <laughs> and you get to enjoy the movie. <laughs> I'm greatly wrong. Mega J Green. Look at how like like again. This is where. Ooh. The view on the TV is awesome. There's so much shit going on. It's like a real battle. There are lasers. Yeah, and that's a, that's what's so. Oh, Peppy got shot. Then. Fuck you. Yeah, I was Peppy just gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's so cool that like like your the other members of Star Star Fox in 
interact way more yeah. in the the course of the battle. Like really they hold, hold their own a little bit. Yeah. Like they still need your help, like shaking Star Wolf off. Yeah. But there are times where like some of the members of Star Fox will just get behind yeah. them. You'll just turn around and they'll have them flipped around and be shooting at him. Like, oh shit. Like, they can actually, like, hold their own and take care of themselves. They try to get away, give them ass. Oh, look like at the seven. platinum! <laughs> that platinum touch! How can people look at that and be like, yeah, platinum just did the art assets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Like, that is... If you get close enough, they have that special... That is a pure platinum moment right there. <laughs> Come here. Where are you? Slow down. It's scary! <laughs> You're a puss. Yeah, if you do, if you have the black R wing, just take everyone out yep. before start before Wolf even shows up. Yep. Some people say that's my quest to an Andrew. I don't know. Oh, Bill got one. Oh, Bill killed someone. Oh, wow. That's what, what that. That's what that bark was. <laughs> Bill has a. Bill has a fucking a uh, clip for taking for taking out a ship. That's awesome. Rats one boom. Yeah, that's so cute. This poor wolf. <laughs> this almost feels so unfair. Like all four members of Fox, yeah. Star Fox. Like Falco's really trying to yeah, get Jesus, on him. He's pissed. Fuck you up. I like how his ship's not even damaged. Yeah. Like, it doesn't even have, like, textures on it. It's He's just, just out of there. Yep. Oh, I love how they, they uh, mm -hmm. like, give a little chase and then and then pull away. Like, like that's uh, Bill chasing after him. Yeah, like, well, yeah. I can't actually. But then it's like, no, nah, no, nah, let him go, let yeah. him go. Yeah, it's like, I can't really chase after him. Like, if I weren't a soldier, <laughs> maybe I could, but I haven't... I didn't get orders to do that. That's just so cool. Do we have to talk about dad every Do we have seconds? to talk about dad every freaking time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that's really... Six shots. Cruel. And then it's sort of like, where's the fleet going after this level? Yeah. Because there's no more levels of, like, the Canarian fleet. Yeah. You almost get the sense of, like, okay, we pushed the battle lines mm. back... We're done. <laughs> Good luck. Because there's no more after yeah. this point. Yeah, no, but no. when you look at the map, like, yeah. Yeah, they sort of, they did their job in a way. Like, they held off the invasion and then they kind of, like, chased them down. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, should I do wolf or the bird? It's up to you. I mean, you I always do wolf. I always, I always do wolf. Yeah. I almost feel like I shouldn't do wolf. It's hard to say. One time. It's hard to say. But it's the Virgil <laughs> fight. <laughs> it is like maybe the best part of the game. How can you not fight wolf? Yeah. It's the best. Bum, bum. There's so many more fights against Star Wolf in this game. Yeah. Like, uh, there's Pigma right at the beginning. Uh, there's Leon on Fortuna? The ice level. Not Vincina. Vincina. Yeah, once again. Yeah. Complete confusion. <laughs> that is, it is so cool that they have oh, the original the Fortuna, and they have Vincina, which was called Fortuna. Yeah, yeah, they fixed it. Yeah. And also, like, the real Fortuna, this, like, humid kind of tropical planet, we hadn't heard of since SNES. And and the bird uh, boss is straight yeah. out of the original the original game. Yeah, straight out of Fortuna. That's my rap album. <laughs> straight out of Kunk. Straight out of Fortuna. And, and then on cube? the cover, it's just Falco oh, and just Cat. Attitude? It's Falco and Cat. <laughs> straight out of Zonus. The slums of Zonus. Well, I mean, that that's sort of the implication. Yeah. This is crazy horrible. motherfucker look named at that, Falco. I, look at that, uh, Yoshi egg. <laughs> that is just what that was. <laughs> oh, God. 
That's almost why, like... Original sound effects from the birth on Solar. Mm. <sighs> eh. Uh, I gotta do wolf. I gotta do wolf. You gotta go for it. I can't not. We'll do a third video. <laughs> we'll do a, you do that. Where I finally the fight the bird. As, One as of a, these days. It's a tricky boss. You know what? Like, maybe the reason I always have trouble with the bird is because I never fight him. And probably there's a correlation. Like, there. I have just fought the bird so infrequently. <laughs> I'm trying to zipper this chair. Like, maybe that's the reason I always have trouble with it. It probably has a lot to do with it. But how can you fucking resist? How could you not fight Wolf here? He's this no is what it's all about. Yep. Within five minutes. This is... I don't actually know what happens when you run out of time. Easily the best part of the game. Yeah, I've never not beaten him. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've never run out of time. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've died here. Yeah, yeah definitely. I've <laughs> yeah, died. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I no, haven't no, no, gotten no, no, no. fucking roasted. Let he among us without sin be the first to say he hasn't. Oh, oh fuck my me. god. What am I doing? Well, this fucking Virgil fight. <laughs> That's not your line, Rob. Location's going to burn. Sending supplies. supplies. I like they have the, an, another. They redesigned their little boxes. Yeah. I love this. They put the, the logo on it. Yeah. I love the the image they of like Rob now. packing <laughs> those and then storing them to send you during battle. I almost feel bad taking him out too fast because of the black R wing. Yeah. Man, if they did a switch re-release, I don't know. I I love the motion controls so much. I almost yeah. like. It would not be as good of a game yeah. if you had to use the old I almost like, I'm curious about how they would change it to make it work without the gamepad screen. Yeah. Because you can make the motion controls work with the Switch Joy-Cons. Yes. Yeah. Or just with the console in general. But like, not having to look down at the screen. Yeah. Like, you'd almost have to make pressing, pressing select mandatory. Yeah. I mean, that's not so oh. different from having to look up and down and up and down at yeah. the screen. Just like, instead of looking up and down, you press a button yeah. to change your view. I don't know. Like, it's an interesting set of challenges. Yeah. That's why I was originally wondering what was taking them so long porting, or what is taking them so long porting Zero to the Switch. But I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah. It was a Wii U title. It was designed they made it for, for the, the Wii, Wii, Wii U. U. So it's, there's going to be some kind of compromise yeah, taking it to any like, other because system. It not, that, not so much hard. that they wouldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I feel very strongly that they are doing it. Yeah. I feel like the day the Switch came out, they yes. knew they were going to yeah. port it to the Switch. I mean, really, how long was it between Zero coming out and... The Switch release. The Wii U being declared get, officially Getting banned. announced, yeah. basically. Because at that time, the NX was being discussed. Yeah. So I feel like yeah, it was last... Wasn't it the, like 2016? Yeah. When it was? Yeah. There were talks. At most months. It's hard to like remember. The Switch has not been out for very long. No. <laughs> but that's like almost going back to like talking about how their characters are different compared to uh, the. Whoa, oh my god. Here. I'm so bad. Whoa, that's a half. Yep. Don't do it again. <laughs> about how they're. <laughs> you scared me half to death. Don't do it twice. Their, their characterizations are are uh, different in this compared to the mm -hmm. in, compared to 64. Is like that's why it almost isn't really a reboot. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like it's, it's still taking it's, their character advancement. Yeah, it feels like it takes place after 64 still. Yeah, it still feels like that progression of where the characters yeah. were at after the original games is still. They're not. Reset back to square one. Yeah, that's why Miyamoto They've has clearly developed. Never said reboot. He always says like reimagining. Yeah, or this and that. there's probably some weird Japanese word for it. Yeah. But like <laughs> leading up to its release, he kept saying it's not a sequel, it's not a prequel, it's not a reboot. And I, my thing was always, well, what the fuck is it? Then? Yeah, like it has to be one of those. But I, I kind of see what he's saying now, where it yeah. sort of takes place after still. You it's sort of yeah. It's it's what 64 was to the NES game. Yeah. To the Super Nintendo game. Man, that took out a lot. Yeah, Jesus. 
Uh, hit counter just went. I felt like I, I I've really started to like feel malicious towards the word reboot just because yes. everyone fucking says everything is a fucking reboot nowadays. Yes. Breath of the Wild is a reboot. <laughs> yeah. Like people are fucking stupid. What? Hitman 27 2016 whenever that game came out is not a fucking reboot. Hey. The opening movie of Hitman shows yeah. all the previous games happening. It's a soft reboot. There's a word for that, and it's sequel. Oh, you mean a, ge a, a game that's technically a continuation of the story, <laughs> but that rehashes a lot of the similar story <laughs> elements and uses the same characters, having them go through the same character arc that they already went through? Hmm. Now, back in my day, we, just we had a word a for that. sequel. <laughs> you know? It was just the next game. Yeah, it was just the one that came after. Yeah, for some reason there's that fascination with that. Everyone word. wants to say everything is a fucking reboot. Yep. Hey, it's the Cornaria guy. But I mean, like, this is a reboot. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, it's yeah. not. It, it's it's like of, a thematic reset. It's a reboot that really assumes you played the original. Yeah, like, it can't exist by itself. Yeah. Star Fox Zero exists in the context of oh, 64. Yeah. And the Super Nintendo games. Yeah. Man, the black R wing it just, is just demolishes. Bitches. Uh, I think of it like sort of in terms of like in music where people will do like a cover mm. of a song. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not a. They're not redoing the song. No. Necessarily, they're doing like a different. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, shit. <laughs> Slippy even complimented you. It's just like, you know, it's in a different It doctrine. doesn't exist it's independently in of the original song. It's a different chord. But in you know? theory, you could have heard the cover and not know of the original. But that's that's almost like not its intent, intended audience. You know? The cover is in form. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. The Black R-Wing. That's the trade-off. That's why you yeah. die so fast. <laughs> Sorry to jet, but, but I'm, I'm in, in a hurry. hurry. Why was it falling? In sp I guess it was like drifting, but it was drifting down. Yeah, like the net, the uh, the uh, the boosters malfunction. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it exists in context of the original song. Yes. Like this game doesn't work oh. with without mm -hmm. Star Fox 64. Exactly. This couldn't have been the first Star Fox game, or even the second. Beep boop. Now saving. <laughs> I think that kills the mood sometimes when it says that. Like yeah. In all games. Now saving. Yeah. The the uh, immersion. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like especially because right before like the end credits or whatever like. Now save it. Yeah, really, yeah, you yeah. kind of took me out of the mood. Achievement. Then. Yeah, exactly. This is the only other part that's a little. I mean, but like, look, it automatically takes you back. Yeah. And you immediately start Carnaria too. Yeah. Oh, you can see the arrow and go. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. That's so cute. No time to explain. <laughs> no time to explain. No time to explain. Well, I mean, well, it's kind of a long drive. Yeah. I just sit there, there in silence. Time. Aren't you talking you... to me right now? This is the other part about how we were talking about, like, Cornaria is getting invaded. This level kind of doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Why are the... Why is the ant, the Venusian fleet still here? <laughs> Can you take care of that? Like, they pushed them all the way back to Sector Beta. <laughs> they regrouped. But there's still... There's still, like, huge warships here. <laughs> they regrouped. You don't know. Oh, I guess that's the implication is, is like... The, the same way that Venom just warped out of, like, its place in the solar system, maybe they, like, warped their fleet. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. If they were to, like, regroup and, like, oh, shit, we're losing, where else would they go? Yeah, let's just fuck it. Like, yeah. Operation Big Wave. No one's, <laughs> no one's like, we're taking back Titania. Like, let, like, fuck it, we have teleporters. Let's yeah. just go right back to Corneria yeah. and try and kill them all again. I do love this level, though. 
And that's one of my favorite uh, songs in the entire story. I think, didn't they spoil this level in one of the uh, yeah, they Nintendo spoiled, Directs? Yeah, they spoiled a ton of shit in that treehouse thing. I hated it. Yeah. I was Let's like, play half the game. You're showing way too much of the game, dude. Let's play the entire game and you see it before it comes out. What's the point of a release date, then? If you have all of it, it's the I same agree. with music. What is the point of a release date? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're just going to show all of this. it, if you're just going to show all of it, if you're going to have all the songs in an album before it comes out, what's the point of a release date then? Right? Like, just hate that. Just give it to me. I, like, like, fuck. That's the thing. Like, uh, <laughs> recently, uh, Tomb Raider did this thing where it's like, if you pre-order the limited Croft, like, True Raider Experience Edition. Combo pack. The $80, like, special edition, you'll get the game three days early. Yeah. Just pre-order, and it's like, you can release the fucking game whenever you want! <laughs> yeah. Like, the release date's a completely arbitrary marketing decision. The yeah. instant the disc is printed, you can release it whenever the fuck you want. You came up with the release date. Why would you change it, like... Like, it like, wasn't anyone else's decision, it was yours. I remember you when to come out earlier. Deus Ex Mankind Divided tried to do that. Deus Ex Mankind Divided tried to do this thing where there were like pre-order tiers. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Checks help. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. It's so concerning to hear. No! no! <laughs> Exactly what Peppy said. God damn you, Peppy. <laughs> you did that. Good thing I got that gold ring back on uh, oh, Sector yeah, Beta. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Oh, no! I'm gonna get that special R wing. Uh, yep. We should, I should try and show that off. I forget <laughs> if I did. Did I show that? No. I should try and show what? off the special R wing. I don't think you did. I remember I should have. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. There we go. I should we, sh we I should show the special R wing <laughs> because like it's too weird or like whatever. There's literally a super tanuki suit. Yeah. If you die a lot, you literally didn't even play the game. Like, mm -hmm. like I didn't beat the first level. Apparently, you didn't like. Even if you're saying like it's too difficult and the controls are fucked up and it makes the game too hard. Apparently you didn't die the requisite amount of times in order to just, unlock the super fucking Tanuki suit. You just reminded me of that. I forgot that. I didn't even finish the first level. Then you cannot review the game. You are not in a position to review a game you didn't even finish the first level of. Like, what is that supposed to mean? I didn't finish the first level. That's not saying what you think it's saying. No, it means, <laughs> wow, you suck at video games. Like, really? And then you don't... You couldn't beat Green Hill Zone? You don't review a game you, you didn't finish the first level. That's not how that works. Like, that's a first impressions, but, like, 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 imagine, like, saying this whole game sucks because you didn't beat the first level. I haven't even seen that movie. Here's my review of it. That's not how that works. That's like, the opposite of how it works. Someone I used to know. Someone that I used to know. Uh, had a thing where he he got really fucking mad when people like didn't like games he liked, which <laughs> is very relatable. <laughs> like he was like, uh, like it was about RPGs specifically, which are really fucking long, yes. right? Yes. Like they're like eighty hours plus. Yeah. So he was like, you can't just play like twenty hours of an RPG <laughs> and then say whether it's good or not. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't finish it. There's still 30 hours left to go. Yeah. That's like watching 20 minutes of a James Bond movie and then walking out of the theater. And, 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 then, and then reviewing the entire James Bond series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, you are not qualified to review this. Oh, God. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I didn't finish the first level, then you're not qualified to be talking about it right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I saw 20 minutes and then walked out of the theater. I saw 20 minutes of Live and Let Die. Live and Let Die. Sorry. 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 My bad. Hit. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should. Sh I should sh try and show the uh, Super R Wing, you know, because it's like, if you thought the controls made the game too difficult, if you die like seven, if you die like five times, I think it's like three or five. I forget. Three. 
If you die three times, you get the Super Tanuki suit. The game literally <laughs> goes, here you go, if it was too hard for you. Yeah. Like... Straight up bottle feed you. Once again, if the ten-year-old this game was designed mm -hmm. for didn't have a problem with it, like, you shouldn't be admitting that you had a problem with it. Yeah, exactly. My nine-year-old cousin beat this game the month it came out. Okay? It's, it was too hard, I couldn't finish it. That's not saying what you think it's saying. No. I'm looking at your fucking You probably shouldn't attractive admit ass. that. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't admit that you couldn't Why beat aren't you this embarrassed? game designed for 10 year olds. Why aren't you embarrassed? It does. It's not very long. We're almost no. done. It's been like an hour. Yeah. That's shorter than Star Fox 2. That's. Well, I played Star Fox 2 twice in a row. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, the first playthrough of Star Fox 2 uh, was like 30 minutes. I was exaggerating. I wasn't okay. really the open okay. to take it apart. <laughs> <laughs> tear apart the thing I just said. Nick, I must break down and analyze the exact ramifications I wasn't being serious. of your word choices. <laughs> choices? Yes. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> why, why did you have this? Why did you make me go? What is this, like, weird ethical boundary where, like, using teleporters is like <laughs> off limits. Whoa. No, no, no. 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 No, 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 no. Dog. And then the, the best dialogue moment where Falco... Andros? Yes, Andros. <laughs> yeah. Andros. Andros? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the question mark for? <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> you know. Hey, what well, you didn't do... Um... Area, not area. Yeah, three, yeah. Space Station Three, whatever. You didn't hear Space the word Colony. Gigorillas three million times. <laughs> yeah, the Gigorilla. The gigorilla, gigorilla. Take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna need to get these three, these uh, gold rings because otherwise I am going to fucking die on them. <laughs> yes. I am going to die. The first time I played this, which again, it's another game I have my first playthrough entirely recorded. Uh, I thought this Gigarilla was so difficult because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Now, it's sort of like Andros. That was the most difficult video game moment Andros I think I've ever is had. Andros fucking hard. But your once first you figure time. out the pattern, it's like, oh, this is fucking. I can't believe yeah, I yeah, struggled yeah. with it. But, I mean, I died so many fucking times. Look at how immediately the Black R Wing just eviscerates yep. that health bar. The butt patch. Come on. Look at that. Oop. The hatches are Give me open. That. Nice. Need that. Need that life. Connect to his blood. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Don't move. That was smooth. Thank as you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was under the crotch. Going back to our. Oh, place, hey! Did you see? Uh, there were some laser shots. Yeah. Thanks for the friendly fire, Fox. Watch where you're fucking aiming, guys. <laughs> Yeah, they changed that line. It was, hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Then they changed it to, hey, genius, I'm on your side. Yeah, now it's I, thanks I for the friendly fire. Someone looked, someone at Nintendo saw that meme where it was like, Einstein? Motherfucker! <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Son gonna of make, a bitch! You're gonna make the neighbors think I'm killing somebody. One thing! That's rough. I'm very mad. I the fucking tell. like like the 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 hit requirements for some of these gold medals are really excessive. Yeah, they, they three seventy gold medals. No, gee, it's almost like this game's made with platinum. Yeah. What is your relationship to James McLeod? How did you know him? Lip flap. How did you know him? That's a good read. There's some my quest. There are some good reads. Andros? There it is. <laughs> Andros? Yes. Yeah. Open your eyes. Andros? There's some great reads, some not so great reads, but that was a great Andros. read. Andros! Like, you can, f like, the yeah. fuck, like... There's emotion in it. Yeah. He really, he's really into it. Yeah. You could follow him. Well, I mean, that was kind of narrow. Yeah, that was fast, but I mean, you could have tried. <laughs> They're just drifting. Yeah, there's like, hey, I'm going in alone. Fuck! <laughs> And he just keeps Why would I say way. no? Religious reasons. 
I did always wonder that. Why don't they come help? I'm going in alone. Yeah, you could come in too, you know. Like, why? There's <laughs> not like a door. Yeah. You can just go, all go in. Fuck. <laughs> and then this like narrative moment. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't really know how I feel about. It. It's it is nice that they tried to give it more plot, but uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Exposition. How? What? Yeah. What? Danger death ray. How? Oh, so it's a peace loving death ray. You're threat. leaving out some crucial details here. <laughs> Why? Why <laughs> down? The window's open for fuck's sake. Shut up. <laughs> you just tried to close the window and failed. I don't need you to tell them what happened. <laughs> I feel like your explanation raises more questions than it answers, Pepper. Yeah, this is strange. Nope. I mean, like... Like, I, I have a choice now. Where the fuck am I? Andros won't have his way with me. In bed. I do like how, like, Miyamoto had that interview where he's like, Oh, maybe Pepper's an asshole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a uh, little bit of that. I mean, he really looks like a dictator. And, I mean, if you watch... My favorite part about The Battle Begins is he has a press conference to unveil that portrait of himself. Yeah. That's the yeah. whole thing. He's, and he's so happy with his little portrait. Like, look at my picture. I look really good in it. There is Everyone a Big Brother a feeling. Yeah. It's sort of like, okay, Pepper. All right. All right, you puppy. Need, you needed a press conference for <laughs> a self-portrait? Yeah. There is a Big Brother type There's a little, dictator aspect to it. It's sort of fishy. Yeah. It's sort of fishy what's going on here. And then he's like, we've tried to develop tech, uh, like teleportation to bring peace to the universe. How? What does that mean? Break that down. You need to explain more than not at all. Yeah, because <laughs> now I'm curious. And then Andros just went mad with power. Yeah. And they had to teleport him to another dimension. <laughs> you know... You know, and, and then like, and then when you fight Andros, he's like, "You're just taking orders from some asshole." Yeah, you're just listening to what he told you. You're not really thinking for yourself with this whole situation. And Fox is just going like, "You kill my dad, fuck you." I don't yeah, care. yeah, I don't care what you're saying. Yeah. I do. They look very nice. My naked jiggering. Too soon. Too soon. Pigma, you're. Fucked up. Yeah. Andrew, come on. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what happened? Devastated. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Leon? Oh no, Andrew, what happened? I love just me. the I millions shoot. of stray laser shots in the background. Where are they landing? That. Andrew's corpse is in there. Thank you, monkey corpse. <laughs> <laughs> and Wolf, how are you alive? Didn't. It's a lot of stuff happened. A lot of that. things happen. I do always like. Ima like I think I said this. Like imagine like the the fight between. Uh, Fox and Wolf, like the solo fight, concluded with them landing and getting out of their ships yeah. and having like a Dante Virgil fight. <laughs> yeah. You? Why does Pigma drop the metal? Probably stole. And then Wolf lost to a fox. Yeah. Yes. Focus. <laughs> I'm a little close. There it Whoa. is. Ah, no good. I'm Fun better. better. Oh, Wolf's shit. voice is so boss. Awesome. Yeah. Come on. Good performance. 
species is... Oh, he took out oh, the... Oh, shit! Oh, that's so fucking badass. That's fucking wicked as hell. <laughs> that's exactly how I would describe it. No. I don't know how you were planning on flying into that before, and why killing Star Wolf turned it off. Yeah, that's a, that's a question. I don't want to tell you both good luck. I'll count on that. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> okay, what is it? Left, right, right, left, right? Left, right, right, left. I mean, there, there aren't as many as what you just said. <laughs> I don't need your judgment. Right, left, left, right. I cannot remember. I can never remember in the original game is the one that, like, like, uh... Which way gets you all the things? Yeah, yeah, and, and one way just gives you no, oh my goodness, nothing. Whoa, shit. Oh my god. That didn't go wrong. Why am I so incompetent? And then you, you, you said, like, you don't like how James is handled? Yeah, yeah, not, just not even close to the <laughs> emotional power that it had in 64. Yeah. It's just sort of awkward in this game. You just, boop! Oh, hi, Dad. Like, yeah. It's, I don't know, it's just. I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate them trying to put a little more story into it. Yeah. But it's, it was a little weird. I don't know. Because, like, I mean, I do this with Sonic all the time. <laughs> but, like, one, uh, earlier when I, when I got here, we had a really long discussion yeah. about, like, Cat and Falco's relationship yeah. <laughs> and, and their Pigma. characterization and Pigma yeah. and, like, his, like, mentality as it a character. It literally was all night until Sun Out. And, like, all of that's completely not in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's completely something you can extrapolate in your own mind yeah. based on, like, the nuggets that are in the game. <laughs> yeah, and that was, the, that's, like, the whole appeal of 64, like I said in my video. I mean, it is just enough to thread together, and the rest is up to you. Yeah. I mean, they and never have shown... Uh, the scene of James dying, for instance, which is pivotal to the storyline of the entire game, and they've never Dad. shown it. Hey, Dad. Dad. Like, what? That, there's no emotional impact there. But, I mean, that's pivotal to the entire series, and they've never shown that. You have to just imagine what that was like. Like, I always that's interpreted it as, like... Fox was not halloo. Only I have the brains to, to rule my life. Like that. okay, That's the only thing is the brain isn't in here. Yeah, yeah. That's the only part that isn't in this game. Yeah. But, like, I always interpreted it as, like, he wasn't necessarily hallucinating, but, like, he was sort of, like, you know, in that limbo yeah. where he was, like, on the verge of death himself. Yeah. And on that. Damn it. On that like intersection between living and dying, <laughs> yeah. and so his dad, who was definitely fucking dead, yeah. was able to like guide him through the purgatory. Yeah, in a sci-fi furry kind of yeah thing. <laughs> but like, like I mean, because when that would you stop talking about my dad? My paws. His paws. His paws. He's a puppy. He, he's a puppy paw. And then of course the face is. Just the Super Nintendo, yeah. Uh, yeah, like metal face that spits the at you. Platinum, oh. yeah. They put them. That's so great. Yeah. He's a platinum face. Yep. That's so great. And it's just the SNES Android. Unless, except he doesn't turn into a cube. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't turn into a cube, and then uh, the hands are from. Uh, how it was done in 64. Yeah. Like, specifically, like, the dot in the hands that you have to blow up. Yeah. There's my hand. This Don't is shoot new. <laughs> yeah, this is... This, I mean... This stage is different. Yeah. Totally different. Uh, but I was into, like, like... If I go down, I'm taking you with me. And then yeah. the explosion happens, and it's a white screen, and it's the same white screen that happens, like, when you die. Yeah, so you're like, yeah. okay, Fox is, like, he got killed. Yeah. And then, like, it, it stays there for a couple seconds, and then James shows up, and he's like, I'm gonna help you out. And it's like, father? And then you fly out of Venom and all that. Yeah. So, 
I mean, you can, I get, like, like you said, like, you can sort of interpret it in a different, in different ways. Yeah, however you want to. Come on. But yeah, in this, it's pretty, like, some of the mystique yeah. has definitely been taken Yeah, it, it's just now it's literal. It's, it's very literal. Yeah. There's not before, really a lot of room for, like, ambiguity. Yeah. It, it, the before original game had ambiguity. Open to interpretation. And, that, and with, like, everything in that game was sort of open to interpretation. You had to fill it in with fan fiction. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's why So was, it became yours. Yeah. So that's why it, it was a so collaborative story. Yeah, exactly. Which is what video games are sort of all about. Exactly. But with this, I mean, they just sort of spell it, spelled it right out. I mean, that's kind of cool in a way, because you get a sense that this is Platinum's story. Yeah. Or, yeah, like, yeah. that's how this is sort of representing their interpretation yeah, of exactly. the elements that were in 64. This is the way so, they saw it. Like, if you had the ability to make a new, to do a Star Fox Zero like they did, you know, you would probably make it a lot more explicit in exactly. regards to what your interpretation was. Exactly. But when you do that, it kind of, like, takes away of that ability for everyone to have their own interpretation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like because that's what I did that's what I did throughout all my fucking Sonic videos. It's <laughs> just like, hey, here's this like bare bones non-existent fucking skeleton of a story yeah. and I'm putting all of my interpretations yeah. onto it. This part is pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I do really love the tunnel this is boss with hell. James, and, but this is pretty skanky. <laughs> skanky. This <laughs> chose a weird adjective. This is pretty boss. Yeah, I like this one. Pretty Hugo boss. And I didn't. That's like kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like him cha Like the the I, I go down. I'm taking you with me. Moment. Yeah. Of this game. Yeah. But it just is so perfectly handled in 64. Anything other than just a straight-up copy of it in this, I think yeah. would be a step down. So I think no matter what they did, unless it was exactly like 64, I would have been like, eh, that's not as good. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's it's a different take on it. But And I didn't know you could do this at first. <laughs> yeah. That's something you have to learn from it someone else. Did. That final shot. Nintendo power. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but if they just did Star Fox 64's ending again, <laughs> that would be almost like a letdown too, where it's like, yeah. oh, you're just doing the exactly the tunnel escape from it Venom would be all exactly over. Exactly like this ending cinematic is pretty much exactly the same, and I remember being slightly disappointed about that. It's just a shot for shot, like it looks a lot better, and it's you know this and that. They made improvements to it, so improvements yeah. to it, obviously, but. I remember being slightly disappointed. No, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Like, that, that, uh, delivery, that delivery isn't as good either. No, a little, little too fast. If he had slowed it down a little, it would have been pretty good. Like, again, it's unfortunate because they're clearly just doing 64 again, but not as good. But without <laughs> 64, yeah. it wouldn't really have the context. Yeah. But that, that was one, like I said, there are a few things that I was sort of disappointed with with, with this game, but that was one of them that I was like... It's just not as it's good. It's just like a shot-for-shot shot remake of the original ending <laughs> cinematic, which I love. It was like, yeah, it would have been nice if they included something new in there. Yeah, but like, and... and Maybe just but, like a, a different shot of, of people rebuilding the city or I haven't something. played the, uh, the, uh... 3DS version often yeah. enough for it to really stand out in my brain. Like, because when I think of it, I think of the 64 version. Yeah. Which is different. Yeah. But, like, if, because the 3DS version, they redid all the voices. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe that was <laughs> the worst. Maybe that was the one that was on that they were thinking of That's true. while doing Zero. That's true. They weren't thinking of, here's how it was in 64. They were probably thinking of, here's how we it was in the 3DS version. Yeah, that's a point. Although, I think we talked about this in the Star Fox 2 video, I think, but, like, that interview where the Platinum guys were, like, we were, they were in high school when yeah, 64 yeah. came out, and that was so influential. And they got kind of to thing. see, they got to relate to, like, the placement of every yeah. 
obstacle. Now in that every they building. are game designers, they could see. Oh, they learned so much from. Like it. there's a reason behind. It. Like nothing's that nothing's just willy nilly. Nothing's an accident. They the put design. it there for a reason. Yeah, that's a Nintendo thing. Like there's not every single thing has a purpose. Every obstacle. Yeah, like uh, Nintendo has a lot of faults as a company, but like when it comes to their game design, yeah, they're very meticulous. Yeah, and and. Uh, De- like instructive, almost. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like they they have uh, Nintendo has craft. They understand the craft of making a game, so that every single like I said, every obstacle has a purpose. There's nothing that they luck into. They know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, it, it's incredibly well crafted games. That even if you don't like them, they're still well put together. Like like you can't you can't look at any first part in Nintendo game and say like that's unfinished exactly they didn't they they like rushed it out the door yeah, you can say I don't care for it it's not my thing I don't yeah. really like this and that but they're all well crafted like I always think back to unfortunately it's a Game Grumps video where they're playing <laughs> I agree <laughs> Please, the tails they're puppies <laughs> they're just puppies, puppies. And they're in the uniform that they used in The Battle Begins. Oh, it's so good. And look Armor at the jackets. logo. I, yeah. How cool would that be as like a cosplaying show? Oh my fucking God. To get the Cornarian be... Army jacket. So, I figured, I was like, that's probably something like you would notice because you were almost in the Air Force. Because those are, those are flight jackets. Yeah, they're, they're just flight jackets. And they're wearing just a flight suit underneath it. You can very yeah. clearly see that it's just yeah, a flight suit. Yeah, they have their jumpsuits on. Uh... They were playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, and they were and and like it was Jontron, the only good passable <laughs> part yeah. of that whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> where he was like, like everything about this game is flawless. The music is great. The level design is great. The controls are great. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, look at how pretty that is. Yes. Yeah, it's like this is so well made, and like, I don't like it. That that's always my big dissertation of like, there's a difference between this is bad mm. and I don't like it. Yes. Which the internet does not If you understand. don't like Star Fox Zero, that's fine. Yeah, you can not you like it. You cannot like it. But you not liking it does not mean it is bad. That was always my breakdown on the Sonic. That mm. was my whole thesis. <laughs> and uh, one of these days, like, the it would take such a long time and I'm so lazy, but I would love to, like, edit like all like all of the playthroughs of the Sonic that I did and like take the arguments and like try and edit them into something like Look coherent. Cohesive, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like if you don't like it, that's like it's it's like Penn and Teller. We can't touch you. Yeah. If your explanation fine. is like I believe in the Bible because I have faith, yeah. you win automatically. Yeah. There's no argument Nobody to be had can there. Touch that. I can't talk you into liking something that exactly. you don't like. You I can't you convince you that the reasons you don't like it are wrong. Yeah. If you don't like it, you don't like it, that's and your an reasons opinion. are subjective, and that's fine. That's an opinion. It's when you try and go, here's why it's bad. Mm -hmm. You better have some really good fucking reasons. Yeah. Because if your reasons are, I didn't like the controls, that's not a reason it's bad. Exactly. The controls are bad. No, they're not. No, they're not. A fucking ten-year-old can play this game. Yeah. Like, it's not bad controls. You don't like them. Yeah. And it's that... just Star Fox 64 again. That's fair, but yeah. that's not a bad thing. Exactly. You just, like, I wish they had Aww. done... I wish they had continued the... Oh, it was... I wish they had continued the story from Assault or Command or wherever. Mm. I agree. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but okay, that's, that's a point. not a, a problem with Star Fox yeah. Zero. Yeah, you know, that's your expectations of it are, are it failing to meet your specific your, expectations is not a, a flaw. On exactly, its part. that's always been my thing. Like, yeah. if it failed to live up to your expectations, that doesn't mean it was bad. No. The, Your expectations the, were not met is not a criticism. They didn't consult with you about your expectations. Yeah. Them not them failing to meet them isn't like they doesn't made, reflect badly on them. They made the game they wanted to make. Yeah. And, and like whether it was a compromised version of the game they wanted to make or not is an entire other discussion. Yeah. But I it, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. That's like the big yeah. thing I always have with like Metal Gear Solid Five, where people go like 
I I was hoping for something else. It it's okay. exactly what I knew it was going to yeah. be. I wanted to be I something don't know. else. That's a you problem. I don't know what you were expecting. I yeah. was expecting Peace Walker on a console. That's fucking what it was. Mm -hmm. If you weren't expecting that, I don't know where I, you got that yeah, impression. I can't imagine where how you from? imagine that's their problem or yeah. their fault. I didn't. Well, notice the pronoun you used. <laughs> yeah. I expected it to be something else. How does that reflect on them? Yeah, it's not like... They didn't say... They, they didn't advertise they it. They didn't fail. Yeah, exactly. They didn't try and fail, you just thought it was going to be something and it wasn't. That For is, some reason. It doesn't reflect on them at all. In, the, in this age of internet reviews <laughs> where, you know, things are either the best thing ever or the worst thing ever, and there is no distinction between I didn't like it and it wasn't good. There's I a saw, fucking difference. I saw a fucking, like, spit and fire tweet earlier today <sighs> where it was like, hold on, I'm going to ruin this by bringing up Hey, right, yeah, they're for all it. my niggas. They're all my niggas right now. <laughs> even, I, the, even the French and Spanish people. Yes, the Andre... F f fuck. F <laughs> <laughs> I violently hate how people like Yahtzee and the Nostalgia Critic have oh. inculated in a whole generation of nerds who the attitude that the right way to approach culture is to try and beat it. By finding and mocking all its flaws. Like, f fucking, those people, whether they're being disingenuous with it or not, they're playing up a persona to be funny. And people interpret that as like, oh, that's the way you should enjoy art. Now, that's fucking retarded. No. Like, I'm gonna say right now, I don't, I, like, I'm saying, okay, that's their thing. I think that's the dumbest shit ever. I would never watch shit like that. <laughs> they should die. But, but like, like... Like, this, this cinema sins, like, oh, view God. of, like, criticism, where I yeah. poked holes in it or pointed out a exactly. thing I didn't like, therefore it's bad. Let's count all the reasons and conclude that it's bad. Exactly. That's not what art is. No. <laughs> and you, you're... That's such, like, a dumb internet entertainment thing, and you're taking it as, like... This is how you're supposed to view art through this lens. And uh, like I always say, like if you don't like it, fair enough. Yeah. Like discussion okay. over. If you you're don't like, like it. That's if it. you don't like it, <sighs> yeah, I got the what? <laughs> yeah. Because I'll tell you right now, I'm I've passed the age where I'm gonna try and convince you to like something I like. Yeah, I don't yeah. do that anymore. I don't care anymore. Like if you don't like it, then you don't like it. Fine. Yeah. But it's it's the instant you're like. And here's why it's bad. Yeah. Well, exactly. you've given me a list of, of like presumably what you think are objective reasons mm -hmm. of its poor quality. I'm going to look at those reasons, <laughs> and yeah. if they do not like, if they're not up to snuff, guess what? I'm gonna break down how you're stupid that, and, and that's, wrong. That's such a good analogy. It is, or, or like a simile. It is like the science religion thing of like, if you want to pretend, uh, if you want to say this, if you want to say that, no one can touch you. But the yeah. second you try and, if you want to say I don't like it, no one can touch you. Yeah. If you want to say objectively this is bad, okay, now you're entering into that yeah. territory. I don't like it. Okay, this is bad. And he, like, here's, yeah. it's, no, it's, it's that fucking clickbait video. Like, Fallout 3 is bad, and here's why. Exactly. Well, let's see, like... Yeah. That's, it, you know, aromatherapy makes me feel nice and I like to do it. It makes me feel better. Okay, fine. It's medicine. Okay, now you've you, crossed you, that you line. You lose. You lose now and... Now that's over. Because, like, the onus is on, like, the, the burden of proof is on you. Mm -hmm. And if you fail to measure up, yeah. if you can't prove your, your hypothesis, mm -hmm. I'm going to rip you the fuck apart. Exactly. Okay, I'm doing. I'm just gonna die so that I can get the. Uh, <laughs> so I can get oh, the, the the super tanuki suit. Yeah, but that's the. Uh, I was about to make a point. Uh, the faith argument. Yeah. Something. Like uh. 
What is the expression? Oh yeah, Every, th that's just a thing in general now where everybody wants everything to be objective. There is no subjectivity yeah. anymore. You can't just say, I don't like this, you have to say it's bad. Which is a different fucking thing. Everyone needs all their opinions to be objective to be, yeah. now. Like, like well, I don't like this and here's why, or I don't like Snapple Apple because <laughs> blah blah blah. You don't like it because having likes and dislikes is a byproduct of being a human fucking being. <laughs> yeah. Okay? You just, that's just how it goes. You like certain things, you don't like other things. But everyone needs everything you to be objective. Now. They, they want to win. It's like exactly. I'm winning the argument. Exactly. I'm proving that it's bad. Exactly. No, you're not. I like it. I think it's good. You're not going to yeah. convince me. Exactly. You're not going to convince me that Sonic Forces is a bad game. <laughs> you're not going to convince me that Star Fox's controls are bad. Yeah. I'm fucking playing it. Yeah. And it's the same thing of uh, it's the same attitude that these people who try and pick on everything you like through this guise of like Either I like it too and I'm just picking on its flaws and blah blah blah. You know, everyone's so defensive of everything they like, but so offensive about everything you like. Yeah. And it's not just like, oh, they look at everything critically, blah blah blah. No, everyone's so fucking insecure. <laughs> they they crave your validation so much, they need you to like what they like. Yeah, that's but the other thing while where it's like simultaneously shitting on everything you like. Yeah, like like you need the, the thing that, and again, you know, I'm a Sonic fan, yes. so this is just my life. <laughs> like, this game's bad. Well, why do you think that? Because such and such said it was bad. I watched his video, mm. and he said it was bad, and just go watch his video. A, no. <laughs> I'm not going to watch this guy rip on a game. Mm. I know I disagree. I don't need to watch it. Exactly. Number two, if your entire argument is everything this guy said, that's really where's the independent thought? Like <laughs> that that's really frightening. Sonic Lost World's really bad. I didn't think so, but I'm interested in hearing your opinion. Why do you think it's a bad game? Well, I'm just gonna link to Gregzilla. Yeah, I'm like, not gonna watch that. What? Why do you think That's it's bad? Downright terrifying. <laughs> like, you just like, oh, copy paste this guy's opinion. You you would just follow anyone, wouldn't you? Yeah. What uh, if what if the next person <laughs> wants you to start a race war with Helter Skelter <laughs> and shit like that? You would do it. Like that's it. That's all it takes. That's all it takes to control you is just someone made a video and made diarrhea jokes that made you <laughs> laugh and now you're like, yeah, I have that opinion too, copy paste. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah, like, did you even play it? The answer invariably yeah. is no. You're gonna end up like mutilating squirrels or something. I, like, something I watched happen. someone else say it was bad and now I think it's bad because they said so. Did you play it? No. I mean... Well now, then. Now, in defense, I heard the controls were bad. Did exactly, you play them? Exactly. I heard the control. What is that even? Someone told mean? me. Here we go. <laughs> hey, keep an eye out for the uh, Super Tanuki. Sorry, suit. you suck. Item. This game's so hard. Like the controls are so bad, it makes the game weird and difficult. Why is this game so hard? <laughs> it's a golden Star Fox logo. That's funny. In in their defense, it's so hard. In a lot of ways. Uh, their audience consists mostly of autistic 12-year-olds. Yeah, but I mean, when the to adults be fair, do it... To be fair, 12-year-olds are allowed to not have, yeah. like, thoughts. I was as dumb as you at that I age. I was but... stupid when I was 12. I watched Nostalgia Critic when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> we all had that phase. Guys, look, it's so hard. Look how hard this video yeah, game it's is. It's just, I tried not to every single video go on the same diatribe, but it's like, <laughs> Nintendo could do anything and you would say, they do the same thing over and over again, you say they do the same thing. They do something different, you say, oh, it's different and weird and blah, blah, blah. Why is Link cell shaded? Why does Mario have, why yeah, does Luigi right? have a vacuum? Why does Mario have a water gun? What happened to that? And now, it, you know, that's fast forward to 2003. Now what are you saying? Why do they keep making Mario a 3? Because you motherfuckers wouldn't yeah, buy the exactly. other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> exactly! That's the other huge thing, because I fucking hated the new Super Mario Bros. games. Yeah, me too. Not because they were bad, but I'm like, I played this already. Exactly. I don't want to play Super Mario 3 again. If I wanted to play Super Mario 3 again, I'd go play Super Mario 3. Yeah, they sell it, um, they, well, we're selling it on the virtual console. And that's like, even, now, I love Galaxy. I love Odyssey. They're just Mario 64. Yeah. 
It, but, it's just the same. You know, they're <laughs> incredibly well made. I fucking loved Odyssey so much, and I fucking love Galaxy and Galaxy 2. But they're just Super Mario 64. Yeah, with Sunshine was the last time they really tried to do something different. And guess how you reacted to it. Exactly. That. They said, why aren't you making Mario 3 again? Yeah, why don't you make that 128? And then that's where fucking uh, the new Super Mario Bros. games exactly. came from. Like, oh, you just want Mario 3 again? You just want Super Mario Bros. 3? Here you fucking yeah, go! Finally they gave it to you. Here you fucking go. How many fucking... How well did the GameCube sell? You know what I mean? Like, you didn't fucking buy it. Why is Mario have a watering gun? Why is Link cell shaded? Remember that cell shaded what? shit? Why is Luigi sucking up ghosts? Why does Luigi have a vacuum? I fucking love Luigi's Mansion. That, that game's awesome amazing. Game. That was awesome. It's fucking Resident Evil, but Mario. <laughs> that game is the best. I'm so mad they're remaking it. For the 3DS. Yeah. Why would you do this? Why would you do that? I'm so upset by that. But just, oh, why do they keep making Mario 3? Because, you know, go back to 2003. What were you saying then? Yeah, it's like Goldfish. You don't remember three seconds oh, after it happens. And I mean, now, I mean, Nintendo's a terrible company. And they're dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they they're, just make bad business no, so decisions. Don't, don't misconstrue no, no, this. No, 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 no. They're horrible to their fans. They're they bad. The worst. They're a terrible company. They're a bad Terrible company. company. No but one is here. No one here. No one here is a Nintendo fanboy. But no, no, two no, no, wrongs no, no. don't make a right. Exactly. <laughs> Why are they making Mario three a bunch of times? Because you fuckers wouldn't buy it when they did something new. And guess what? New Super and Mario Bros. sold a million copies. And they're a company. They have employees to feed. You know, uh, to to pay. You know, they they need to feed their families. They need to make money. It's it's all well and good to talk about you know the art of it and blah blah blah, but they're a fucking company with a yeah, an army but, of employees. Know, they need to make some money. Go where you know go where the money is. Exactly. Basically. If you're not gonna buy the new different shit that they make, they're gonna just keep making this. What do you think they're gonna do? I don't know. Like I I, I don't th I don't know if they were expecting Breath of the Wild to be a success. Yeah, it's hard because to say. it's sort of a big departure yeah. from that Zelda formula. Yeah, exactly. But then again, this is off the heels of Skyward Sword got not well received. I mean, critically, it was well received, but everything yeah, Nintendo it's a makes Zelda gets, game. I get so the feeling fucking... Nintendo doesn't really pay attention to like critical reviews. No, because everything Nintendo just gets a ten out of ten slapped on, yeah. while the entire written review is just, oh, they did the same game. Yeah. For the 12th Let time. Let alone Zelda games. Every Zelda game gets a 10 out of 10. Skyward Sword got a 10 out of 10. But, like, the communal response yeah. was pretty negative. Yeah. So they, like, did something completely different. I don't know if they were expecting it to be a success. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. But that's just like, the, even in this day and age, like, this control scheme is not bad. It's just a little different. You have to get used to it. And you won't get used to it? Like... What the fuck? Like, the first time I played Dark Souls, it took a little bit of getting used to. What are you fucking talking What the fuck do you want, you whiny bitches? Like, I mean, you have to, at a certain point, Nintendo just has to go, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? What the fuck? <laughs> you don't want new, you don't want new experimental shit. You don't want something different. You don't want the same old thing. What do you want? That's the only two things. <laughs> That's the... Uh, literally, there's two options. You don't yes. have a million options. You have option A and option B, and I'm telling you what they are. Which do you want? Maybe something familiar, something not familiar. And that's it. And then, like... It's all... It, like, there's no consistency to it either. Mm -hmm. Because when it's Nintendo, it's... Why are they doing the same thing over and over again? Then you go to Sonic, and it's, mm -hmm. oh, oh they God. keep trying new things every time. We just want Sonic. No, you We just want to play as Sonic. No, you oh, don't. Sonic Mania, it's doing the Genesis thing game again. Sonic is back. Oh, my God. Which do you want? Do you want them to do the same thing over and over, or do you want them to try and innovate and yeah. do new things? Let me, let me answer that You can't that have question. both. Let me ask that question. You're just whiny fucking children who are going to bitch and cry no matter what happens. And on that note, <laughs> this has been Star Fox Zero. Bitches. <laughs> we got heated at the end there. Yeah, as usual. Yeah. I mean, that happened with Star Fox 2 again. That's very again, true. Admit. That's very true. Anyway, uh, when the Switch version comes out, we'll do another video. Yes. Because there, there's definitely going to be a Switch version. Maybe we'll do a co-op video. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> my thumb. Do a barrel. Yeah, I mean, like, 
I almost wonder if because some people will do like like such and such game five years later. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, there's a pretty good video on like Mass Effect three five years later, or however long it's been since Mass Effect three. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been two years since this game came out. Yeah, it has. It's hard to believe. But... I wonder what like and like it when the time and place it came out was very unfortunate. Yes. Because of a lot of things were going on, and it just, you know... It cut the flack of It sort of came out at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. So, I like, I'm curious what the reception would be with, like, a fresh lens. Yes. I mean, like, I don't care, but I'm curious about how the discussion yeah. would be different now. The, the, the circumstances under which it came out were such that it cut... All of the flack yeah. about everything, everywhere, and still managed to sell well. <laughs> but I'm curious about like, not necessarily the reviews, but what the general like consensus. the general consensus of it would be. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Compared to back then. Yeah, damn, 2016. I still think it's 2017. Yeah. It's very strange. Yeah, two years. We are yeah, we definitely dealing gonna... with the time compression here. Yeah, something, we're <laughs> dealing with a teleportation device. We of were going to do this We when... wanted to do something on the second birthday. Yes. But, but life happened. Didn't quite work. But we did, we did Starbucks 2 in addition to make up for it. Maybe we'll do something for, like, the anniversary of when it was announced at E3. We'll do something sometime. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to stop. No. Rest assured. No. And, and, like, at the moment, we've only, like, right now the setup that we've been doing videos is, is not very ideal. This is makeshift. This yeah, is it's strapping it. We're, like, because I was cranking out a video a day for yeah, almost were. a year, and I was really proud of myself that I was able to do that. And then I moved across the country. Yeah, now we're we're in flux. And I'm, I'm like, this is happening now. Ah. And, you know, that's what it was all building up to. I mean, you can look on my fucking YouTube channel. It says I'm making these videos for my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's still up there. I don't I don't know if I should change that now. I Who mean, are these videos for? You're yeah, right that's, here. That's such a <laughs> philosophical, <laughs> introspective question. I now. mean, you do still watch them. I do. But, uh... Yeah. I'm not always here. So, some games I watch. Yeah. It... it I want to keep doing videos. Yeah. But like now really when more. when we have a house mm -hmm. or you know a place to live, I'll be able to go back to recording. Yeah, and like doing full playthroughs. Yeah, and we'll see what happens then. Who knows? But right now these have been very sporadic in uh, yes our ability to do them. We're, we're in flux. Yes. So uh, eventually, we'll you know you know who knows maybe we'll do like a whole thing. Yeah, well, there are a lot of possibilities in the future, but yeah. right now... Right now, we really wanted to make a Star Fox vid a couple yes. of Star Fox videos. Yes, and we did. And it's nice. Yes. Yeah. Star Fox. It's an awesome game. It, it, Star Fox Zero is a masterpiece in the exact same uh, avenue as Star Fox 64 is a masterpiece. Yeah. They're different, it but they are... accomplished what it's... It's perfect. There's yeah. nothing you can add or take away... That would improve it. Yes. Star Fox 64 is a masterpiece, and so is Star Fox Zero. Not the same kind, but like they're, they are their own types yeah, of masterpieces. I, I almost appreciate Star Fox Zero more because it's the game Shigeru Miyamoto always wanted to make. Yes. Like, I appreciate it as like the fulfillment of the original vision. Yes. Do a barrel roll. Do a fucking barrel roll. <laughs> oh, I've had the piss for the past hour now. Do it. That's why I'm leaving that in. <laughs>